Superstitions. Every culture has them and all of them are crazy. Today, we're looking at the top five Chinese superstitions and old wives tales. Why top five? Well, because I'm too lazy to do six. Let's go. Number five. So let's get some of the more well-known ones out of the way first. According to Chinese beliefs, you should not wear a green hat as this signifies your partner is sleeping with someone else. Called Dai Lu Maozi in Chinese, its origins are linked to three stories. One being about the Tang Dynasty magistrate, Li Yang, who required all of his subordinates who broke the law to wear green hats as an attempt at humiliating them. The second comes from the Yuan Dynasty, where prostitutes were not only required to wear green and blue clothing, but their relatives were required by law to wear green headwear as well. And the third origin comes from a folktale about a merchant's wife who was having an affair with a tailor. Together, they made the husband a bright green hat so that he could easily be spotted coming home. So, unless you want everyone thinking your girlfriend is cheating on you, do your best to avoid green hats in China. Number four. Number four is obviously the number four. I can't do an episode about Chinese superstitions without talking about the number four. In Chinese, the number four is si. And the word for die is si. As they are homophones, the number carries the connotation of bad luck. You will rarely meet someone with a phone number that has a 4 in it, lives on the 4th floor, or has anything about the number 4 linked to them. This is so well known that it is spread throughout Asia to every country that has any kind of linguistic link to Chinese. As further evidence, look at the buttons on my elevator. No 4, no 14, and just to be extra safe, no 13. Number 3! Number three is Yuezi, also called Zoyezi, or the sitting month. Nothing is more joyous than having a baby, or so I'm told. But the month after giving birth might not be so great for a Chinese mother. According to Chinese superstition, a mother is extremely susceptible to becoming ill after giving birth. So for the entire month, she must do nothing except sit and breastfeed. No going outside and especially no bathing. It's commonly believed in China that bathing reduces one's immune system. So, to ensure that a new mother stays healthy, she must sit around in her own filth for at least one month. Now, there might be some kind of scientific evidence to justify it, but I still think it's pretty gross. Number two. Number two is good luck statues, specifically the three-legged toad, cabbage, and the lucky cat. Now, before some of you go crazy and start shouting that the lucky cat is Japanese, well, you're right. Called Maneki Neko in Japanese, it first started being sold during the 19th century in either Tokyo or Kyoto. The cat statue is used to welcome customers into stores and is sold throughout the world as a lucky charm. There are a metric ton of Japanese folktales that claim to be the origin of the Maneki Neko. But surprisingly enough, the true origin is most likely Chinese. Duan Chengshi, a notable Tang Dynasty scholar, famously wrote the adage, If a cat raises its paw over the ears, and washes its face, then patrons will come. As this is the oldest reference to a cat acting in this manner for this specific purpose, it's not crazy to assume that this is the true origin of the cat statue. Either way, the three-legged toad statue is 100% Chinese in origin. Called Jinqian in Chinese, the three-legged toad sitting on a pile of money is supposed to help generate wealth. Like most superstitions, its origins are unclear. Some link it to Chang'e, a woman who transformed herself into a three-legged toad and hid on the moon from her angry husband with a rabbit. Yet, yeah, don't worry, we'll cover that story eventually. Others link the toad to a Taoist immortal named Liu Haijian, who carried with him a three-legged toad. There was also the story of the wife of one of the famous 80 mortals who transformed into a toad. But that story is more about not being greedy than generating wealth. Considering that the story of Cheng Lo is older than the others, it is most likely attributed to her. And finally, the most visually interesting statue, the cabbage. Compared to the other statues, there is no complicated origin story. Rather, it is simply a homophone for wealth. Bai Cai means cabbage. Bai Cai means 100 wealth. Thus, through the power of puns, the cabbage statue can make you rich. Simple to understand and ridiculous to look at. Number one. And the number one strange Chinese superstition is hot water. It is famous among the expat community how Chinese people recommend hot water as a cure-all for every situation. Got a cold? Drink hot water. Got cancer? Drink hot water. Lost your job? Well, you see where this is going. 
Most people attribute this belief to either two origins. First, that hot water helps align your chi. The second relates to the fact that in the past, the only way to ensure you have clean water is by boiling it. While it is crazy the extent that Chinese people recommend hot water medicinally, the scientific truth is that compared to cold water, hot water is actually more beneficial for one's body. It aids in digestion, clears the sinus, improves circulation, eases abdominal pain, and ridiculously, according to the University of Ottawa's School of Human Kinetics, a boiling glass of H2O can reduce one's body temperature on hot days. So it's definitely not a magic cure-all. But there is scientific evidence to say that hot water is somewhat better than cold water. Does it mean that I'll start drinking it from now on? Well, no. No, it does not. So, thank you once again for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe. If you like this video and you'd like to see other videos about Chinese culture, why not check out this one on the true story of the journey to the West. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Wukong, and goodbye.